Good morning. This is the Morning News on Remote TV. I am Oluduru Jeremiah. On the national news, the Ministry of Finance told the Senate Committee on Army on Thursday that the federal government spent 198.84 billion naira to fight terrorism from 2019 to date. The Permanent Secretary Special Duties in the Finance Ministry, Aliyu Shinkafi, said all the funds appropriated for the war against insurgency has been released to the military authorities. The Permanent Secretary told the committee that 75 billion naira was appropriated and released in 2019, adding that 7 billion naira was released in 2019. Shinkafi said 2.5 billion naira was released in 2019 and tagged as administration. The permanent secretary also told the senators that 75 billion naira was appropriated in 2020, but that 74.99 billion naira was released. He said in the current year, 100 billion naira was appropriated, and we have released 19.4 billion naira for the first quarter. Still in national news. The Central Bank of Nigeria CBN yesterday removed the board of directors of First Bank of Nigeria Limited and the FBN Holding PLC. The APS Bank also reappointed 14 out of 21 directors affected by the SAC into the new board of the two institutions. The CBN also reinstated Mr. Adeshola Adeduton as managing director chief executive of First Bank of Nigeria. Adeduton was earlier sacked as MD by the former board of the bank. Announcing the decision to sack the directors at the briefing in Abuja, the CBN governor Mr. Gordon Emefiele said the APS Bank had to remove the directors for trying to remove Ade Duton as MD without consulting the regulators. Announcing the reinstatement of Ade Duton as MD, Emefiele said the CBN was satisfied with the work of the MD and those trying to remove him were the ones not comfortable with his insistence on adherence to regulations. On international news, at least 44 people were killed on Friday in a stampede as tens of thousands of people gathered for a religious festival, emergency services said as a mass evacuation took place. The incident occurred when thousands of Jews gathered to celebrate the Lag Bar Omar holiday on Mount Meron in northern Israel, the largest religious festival in the country. At least 150 people were wounded with dozens in critical conditions, said Israeli ambulance service Megan David Adam. Some witnesses reported that people began falling down on a slippery walkway, Haaretz newspaper reported. Six helicopters were sent to fly some of the injured to nearby hospitals, MDA said in a statement. Children were among those admitted to Rabam Hospital, more than 40 kilometers away in the coastal city of Alpha. On our sports news, Barcelona spawned the chance to go top of the table on Thursday as a shock 2-1 defeat by Granada added another twist to La Liga's most unpredictable title race in years. Baca could have taken control at the top by moving a point ahead of Atletico Madrid, but Granada came from behind to snatch a stunning win at Camp Nou in what will be a huge boost to the other title contenders. Lionel Messi scored his 33rd goal of the season to put Barcelona in fraud, but they failed to put the result beyond doubt and Granada hit back down with matches driving in and George Molina's elder completing a remarkable turnaround. And lastly on entertainment, Nigerian star comedian Bright Opocha, popularly known as Basket Mouth, is set to release his long anticipated short film, The Confession of a Bandit, on May 3rd. The renowned comedian Basket Mouth, who said he was so excited for the debut of his short film, took his Instagram handle at Basket Mouth to announce the movie with an official unveiled poster. According to him, the long awaited short film, The Confession of a Bandit, is set to premiere on 3rd of May. And that will be all on the morning news of Remo TV. For more news, check us on our social media platforms of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Official Remo TV. Visit our website at www.remotv.com.ng. I am Oludro Jeremiah. Good morning.